Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kelsey. I share beauty, fashion, and lifestyle posts on this YouTube channel. And then I do have a blog. It is listed right here, kelseychristine.com, and I'll link it down in the bottom bar as well. But today I wanted to bring you a very exciting post, more Amazon, of course, because you guys know I love Amazon. But I wanted to round up my top 20 purchases from Amazon in 2020. I went through all of my Amazon purchases, and let me tell you, there are a lot because quarantine. Am I right? So I went through all of those and picked up my top 20 from there. I went kind of based off what I used the most and kind of went from there. So number one is going to be used most, best, most favorite item, and then going down from there to number 20. So since there's going to be quite a few, let's jump right into it. So if you want to see what my top 20 purchases from Amazon are in 2020, then please keep watching. Okay, starting with number one and my most used because I literally never take it off were these Huggies here. I'll show up a little close up as well, but I wear them every single day. I actually technically purchased them in 2019, but lost that pair in Hawaii and ended up purchasing another pair this year. And I actually got my second piercing up here in 2020 so that's when i decided to once that healed i put these in and i love them they are ten dollars on amazon or even under ten dollars and i never take them out i'd say if you have sensitive ears these probably aren't for you i don't really have sensitivity to any earrings or metals or anything but they work super well i wear them in the shower i literally never take them off so definitely a number one purchase from 2020. the number two favorite purchase from 2020 are these wine glasses because I drank a lot of wine in 2020 holy cow but I thought these glasses were just so cute I got these towards the end of the year and used them constantly I just love how they're like this square cylindrical cylindrical that's not even a word cylinder shape that I just thought they were so cute and they come in a four pack too number three is gonna be my coffee warmer it's just a little electric coffee warmer you set your coffee cup on it and as you set it on there it's a little hot plate and it senses that you have a cup on there and warms your coffee it keeps it nice and warm all throughout the day however long you have the cup on there I think these are great I'll insert a little video in here as well but I just think they are a great purchase especially for someone like me who likes to sip on their coffee kind of all morning and I end up reheating it or things like that so I just think it's a great purchase and I use it constantly number four purchase and number four most used is my ninja foodie so I bought that gosh like midway through the year last year and I have used it so much it's got it's an eight in one and I got the six and a half quart because that was recommended by my Instagram followers I asked on Instagram it's an air fryer slow cooker it sautés it steams it fries it pressure cooks it's amazing and highly recommend getting one I mostly would say I use it for the air fryer but the best thing about it is that you can pressure cook things and then air fry them right in the same basket so for example i like to cook wings in there and so we'll take frozen wings and we'll put them in the pressure cooker and then it thaws them and then you put them right in the air fryer so you don't have to wait for them to thaw in order to fry them so super great purchase and definitely one of my top purchases from 2020. Number five is gonna be this electric USB rechargeable lighter. I just think it's adorable too. I have shared this before too on some of my Amazon videos, but I flippin' love this thing. It's just very cute and petite and it's rechargeable. Like I said, you just plug it on in and then right now it's dead. I should have charged it for this, but the little prongs come up and then it creates this like electric shock looking thing and then you light your candle. It's really cool. I'll insert a video of it while it's working, but I love it. Number six is gonna be this Cami sports bra. I love this olive color too, and I'll show a little video of it on next, but it's lightly lined or lightly padded. It's got two little pads in here and it's a crop top. It goes like mid crop, like just a longer sports bra. It does not have adjustable straps, but it still fits really nicely. And it comes in a ton of different colors and it's super affordable. I have it in, I think this one in a mauve color and I've really been eyeing up the white as well. I just think it's so great for casual, like you can wear it with some leggings and like a cute fun jacket with it, or you can wear it to work out all of the above. So I love this guy. Number seven are gonna be these slippers here. I wear these constantly. I go back and forth between these and another pair that I got myself towards the end of the year last year because these are literally all I wear around the house. 
because I'm home constantly, but I love they're like a faux suede and then the faux fur here. And then the insert is more of like a memory foam and it's got a little fur as well. So they're just super comfortable and then they're true to size too. So I have an eight. They come in tons of colors. This I think is the tan. I will link it obviously down below, but it also comes in pink and they're just adorable and super comfortable. So highly recommend these. Number eight is going to be this wide brim hat. And this one is special to me because you guys probably have heard me talk about this before, but I have a big head. You may not be able to tell from photos or video, but my head just doesn't fit a normal size fedora or hat. So this is actually the men's version of the popular Amazon fedora wide brim hat, and it fits super well. It has adjustable straps in here, so if you don't have like a medium size head, it would still work for you, but the small ones just do not fit on my head, and they look terrible. So let me show you what these look like. I love it, and I was actually really worried about hats looking weird with my short hair, but I actually love the way it looks with the short hair, especially like the choppy look, which I actually did a video sharing how I curl this, so I'll link it down below if you guys are interested, but this is the hat. It has this faux leather trim here with this little buckle, and I just think it's so cute and super affordable. Comes in a couple different colors, but the one that is smaller for the women's sized one, um, that one has quite a few more color options. So if you have a larger head, this is definitely perfect, but if you have a smaller head, I will link that one down below as well. Number nine is gonna be my all-time favorite jean jacket because I found this oversized one on Amazon last year and I have lived in it more than any jean jacket I've ever owned. I love the distressing and it's just a huge oversized fit, but also it's oversized, but it comes in tons of different sizes too. I actually got the medium and I could have probably sized down to a small and it still would have been oversized, but I think it more so measures here. So the medium still fits well up in my shoulders, but I think the small would have been a little bit slimmer and longer still on me, but I still love the medium. It's distressed in the back and it's just, adorable. I love the light little acid washing too and it's just adorable. The price too is pretty dang good for this large and heavy and good quality of a jacket especially from Amazon. I would say most jackets like that are like $90, $95 and I want to say this is like $45 so great purchase. So I have an Amazon storefront where I have tons of different categories of all of my favorites especially fashion and it's going to have all my favorite graphic tees on there as well but this one is probably by far my favorite purchase of 2020. It is this Def Leppard one and it's pink and it has, it's just bright and colorful. It's the Hysteria Tour one. It's got yellow, blue, pink, and a little bit of black in there and it's longer. I think I got, I got it in a large and it's perfectly sized and long enough too. That's what I love with my graphic tees is having them long. I like the oversized ones, but this isn't too oversized. So that it's like kind of like the perfect medium, like in between regular, like fitted tee and an oversized, like ultra oversized graphic tee. So I love this one. Number 11 is this jewelry case here. I'm obsessed with it. It's very similar to the one that I've always wanted from Kendra Scott for a fraction of the price too. And I love the color here. It comes in a couple different colors too, but I love the white with the gold hardware. So this top part is see-through here and then you open it. And it's got the top compartment. Hopefully you can see, oh, and my drawers are falling out. You can see the ring section and then little side spots for the necklaces. And then it has two drawers here. So I keep my like larger, chunkier necklaces in that one. And then this next one, I think I have earrings. Yes, I have my larger earrings back in this one. So hopefully you can see that. But love this guy. It's very affordable and good quality. It's almost like a faux leather look too. And it's more of like a cream off-white, I'd say and I love it. So number 12 isn't something I can actually bring to show you, but I will show a video over here. Back in, like during quarantine, when the, like the beginning of the pandemic started last year, uh, I went in organization mode like crazy in my house and I found these spice jars and spice jar organizers from Amazon and then I have these labels that are not from Amazon, but I'll still link them down below. 
I love the way it turned out. It's just compact and you can pull out the drawers and everything's organized and I have it all in alphabetical order too because I'm OCD like that. It is definitely a great purchase from 2020. Number 13 is one of my top sellers and favorite swimsuits from the last two to three years and it's my cup she swimming suit that I ended up getting on Amazon. This is another thing that I purchased two of. I'll actually insert a picture over here because it's winter and mine is stored away right now but it's a color block swimsuit and it's super affordable and it's a one piece it ties on the side it actually comes in a ton of different colors i've been eyeing up the pink one and the green one for this year but we'll see we'll see if i jump on it but i love a good one piece swimming suit and it has little cups that come in it that you just actually just ended up removing because they're odd shape and they did not look good with the swimsuit but you can take if you still need the cups take cups from another swimming suit and put them right in there it still fits and everything but so the, this my story with the me purchasing two of these is that I ended up wearing them at the end of like Labor Day was the last day I wore it two Labor Days ago now and it was end of season basically and I put it in a bag and it got stuck in my husband's truck until spring and we found it and it was like covered in mold <laughs> So I, and we ended up going to Hawaii at the beginning of 2020 last year. And I'm like, where's my swimming suit? I need the swimming suit for Hawaii. And I found it and it was full of mold. So I'm like, great. So I ended up purchasing another one. So technically I had it prior to 2020, but I bought another one in 2020. So I'm still going to say that it's a favorite purchase of 2020 because I love it so much. Number 14 is going to be my pink dog bed for Kobe. It's hiding right over here. I'll show a little video here but I love it and she snuggles up in it in my office and it just looks so cute and cozy and she absolutely loves it. Sometimes I will not be able to find her and I'm like, where the heck is she? Oh, she's just hiding under the chair in here, just snuggled up. Number 15 are gonna be LED strip lights. I actually purchased a new one recently, so I wanted to show these. I love the color changing. It has a little remote in here where you can change all of the colors. I love it. We put it behind our TV. We have one upstairs and downstairs. And I love that it just like illuminates the back and just kind of like makes you feel when the lights are off, makes you feel like you're in a theater and I haven't been to a theater in so long. So it's nice to like kind of just cozy up, have some popcorn and have the lights behind there. But I actually got this new one to put behind our bed, I think is where I'm gonna put it. I'm not really sure, but I've seen people put it behind their headboard and like illuminate the back of the headboard. And I think that would just be really cool for like a little ambiance at night. Like when I'm reading too, I can turn it on and have a little extra light that's not too harsh for my husband. So definitely a great purchase. Number 16 is gonna be another item that I purchased to organize the heck out of everything. And these are my sunglass holders. My sunglasses are very dusty and I realized that I probably never dusted them when they went in to the drawers. They used to be on a shelf and just would fall over all the time because I had this like a little acrylic sunglasses holder and it was just a pain in the butt to move or like grab anything off of because all of them would fall. So I love this. I have like three or four of these in a drawer and they fit super nicely. They're actually in this guy right here, but I love that they fit sunglasses so nicely and you can stack them on top of each other. And then I also keep my Victoria Emerson bracelets in the same organizer just underneath all of the sunglasses too. And I keep them, they fit perfectly this way in there. So this is definitely a great find. And it's got like, like a pebble faux suede, I'd say. I don't really know. It's like got a little bit of like a velvety suede. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really nice and it's like a cream color. Number 17 is gonna be this avocado slicer. I know you're probably like, what the heck? But it is amazing. So <laughs> I've kind of always wanted these. I've seen these so much and I finally got one. I'm like, I'm just gonna try it. And it is a game changer. Like I ended up using a butter knife to cut open the avocado, but then I need a sharper knife to get the pit out and then cutting it is a whole nother story. So what this does is this guy ends up cutting the outside of the avocado. This part grabs onto the pit and then this part cuts it into slices. You just slice right into it. And it's honestly perfect. I love it. I use it so, so much. So that's why it's on my top 20. The next one is this meat chopper. And you're probably like, what the heck? Another like kitchen tool. I have found some good kitchen tools this year. So this I've 
kind of seen these before but I've never actually owned one and now that I own one I'm like all right this is what I'm using for my chopping my ground beef so it's great for like mixing ground beef and chopping it it's kind of a little bit sharper but it's more of a silicone -y plastic and it just works really really well and I think this one was like five bucks or something so definitely a great purchase number 19 is another item that if you guys saw my gift guide for her I think is what I did I talked about it it is this neck massager and it is a game changer you guys it's amazing I don't have it plugged in right now but it does plug in and it actually comes with the car adapter so you can use it in your car too but your arms can go right in here Oh my gosh, you guys, it's seriously amazing. I should, I just like kind of want to take a break and use it right now. But it's got these little buttons right here. This is power. This is the rotation. Um, this is like the intensity. And then this one I think is for heat. Yeah. So it's got these little like round balls in there that move around and massage the heck out of your back. The only thing you don't want to do is go for too long when you first get it. Cause I think I was there like digging it into my back for a good like hour the first night I got it. And I was like bruised the next day. I wasn't actually bruised, but I felt bruised. So you just got to take it easy and like ease into it. But it is so great. It's not just for your neck too. It's good for your like middle, like your back and then your like middle and lower back too. And then you can also use it on your feet. I tried it on my feet and I'm really ticklish so it didn't quite work. But I know online it said it's good for feet. I don't know if people actually use it often for it. But oh, it's just so good you guys. It's a great purchase for yourself and it's a great purchase as a gift too. So definitely number 19 top on my list it's up there okay we are on the last one number 20 is this guy it's actually a tripod so for fellow influencers out there or people that like to take family photos and you need a little tripod this one is great because it's portable you can throw it in your purse the tripod i used to use is huge and it does compact into like maybe this but it would still stick out of my purse and this is just great it has the little remote like built in already so you just have to pull that out see that there so this is your remote you're going to click to have the timer go off or set the camera off from far away so that part's there but then the bottom i'll show you how this works so you kind of open the, the bottom just a little bit and then it opens this top portion and then you pull up on this I want to like show it to you guys as it's going and as it goes up this guy expands and then this is where you take and attach your phone to it so this is what it looks like you can put your phone on it set your timer up or just take pictures with the remote from afar and it is great I think it goes up even taller yeah I think this this is how tall it goes and then to get it back in there when you push down it kind of collapses on itself push it back in and then you just have to snap those three into place toss it in your bag and you're good to go also at an airport though not that we're really traveling right now take it out though because they're gonna think it's a taser I've had my tripods them think it's a taser or I think I think it's always been a taser so I just always take it out and I'm like this is not a taser so I don't know that's that guy so that is everything those are my top 20 amazon purchases i will have everything listed down in the description bar but if you have any questions on anything let me know in the comments down below i hope you enjoyed and found some great finds for yourself if you did like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified each time a new video goes live and i will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye